Bevan Bird here and in this video I am well right now I'm just getting ready for it but in this video I'm going to show you how I made this one step by step from a photo of myself and of course a text prompt that and that text prompt is uh, right here okay but I'll show you the process of how I made it and just as an aside before we get started this is the parent from where I upscaled this one, right? Obviously. Um, but then it doesn't show parents, so I'm going to have to figure out how I actually did this. So first I'm going to be looking at it in order and figuring it out, and then I'll show you that. And then later we'll look at the actual process I followed, because it wasn't a straight line path, right? I didn't just go straight into uh, from the beginning, right? This was There's the abstract stuff before that. but. Um, I didn't just go straight through and make this one, right? So uh, we'll also talk about that. Remember, deep, uh, wide first and then deep. So wide is like exploring possibilities, generating possibilities, trying to find something that you're trying to make, right? And what's closest to that? And then once you find one, then you start to drill deeper there. Um, and I, when I showed something that I created, a couple of things, to a friend, they suggested adding gold, and that's what I did. I, I added to the prompt, uh, wearing a heavy gold chain. I added that later. So earlier, it didn't have that, and so you can see the result of that there. But I still call this one um, a work in progress, though. And I wanted it to look closer to myself, which I'll get to in the future, right? But for now, we'll just be showing how I made it. But as an aside, I want to show you this. So if you're looking at any image like this, for example, here, or even if it's just on one of them specifically, if you scroll down, this is on the Mid Journey website, right? When you log in, uh, of course, we go into that more in other videos, but just to, for the, con, um, for the um, context, scroll down, Explore Related. That's like basically it's other people's work, and it kind of relates to it maybe because of the prompt what's in it and also maybe because of how things look visually in the image compared by AI. So let's, yeah, so this one here, for example, right? I was like, this is interesting. I like this style a bit. Um, and then you can see here in the prompt, it says like it's a mosaic painting, right? And it says in the style of Steve Henderson. So then I Google um, Steve Henderson art, right? And then I would look at that. I'm not gonna go into it here right now, but I'm just sharing that with you. I would then look at like his portfolio and stuff, look at certain things to see that style to see if I want to use it. Okay, so that's another tip for you, because if you look at other things that relate to what you're working on, um, and then you see the styles that people use to make those things, then you're kind of looking around more, um, which helps you in refining the style of what you're creating. Okay, and so I'll just pause again because I'm in the preparation stage for making this video and I'll see you soon once it's actually prepared. Okay, now I'll let you in behind the scenes again a little bit here uh, because I'm figuring it out. It doesn't show the parent from this one, um, but it was a variation of something. Uh, but anyway, on this one, we go open in Discord. So definitely do this when you're trying to figure out how you made something and tracking it back. Definitely do that. So here we're on this one because we can still click back to what this was made from. So in the tracking back, uh, it happens here. So you're going to see exactly how that one was created. In the beginning was the word, right? The word was um, stunning, award-winning, world-class palette knife um, painting, right? Oil painting in the style of Lisa Frank, depicting a handsome young man, aged 38, wearing a heavy gold chain. Well, in the beginning, it was only this. I added the gold chain later. But in the beginning was also a photo and, and words. And you'll see that when you go right back to the very beginning, uh, which we will do. But we'll work our way back to it a little bit here. So you can see that in the prompt, wearing a heavy gold chain. So this one right here, I upscaled number three. See, one, two, three, four. Okay, so that's that. So you click this line here. See, I'm in a chat, direct message chat with the Mid Journey bot. So I only see my own posts in here, right? And this is this post, and here's the image prompt in there. 
that which is the same photo still again. That's that photo I started with. Okay. And, and the text prompt here. And of course, we're in mid journey version 5.2. But if you look at the line up here above that, you can click anywhere in this. See, so you, you don't think that if you click that first part, see here, if we click it, we're going to go to that image, right? But up here, it doesn't matter where you click, because what if you had multiple images in there, link, 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 and so on. It, basically, just clicking anywhere on here um, is going to take you up to that. So we'll do that, right? So now, which one is it? Well, I'm not actually sure. I mean, I did upscale one and three. So that's one, two, three, right? And I, I did upscale them and I did make variations of them. And I believe it was of three, right? So we can't say absolutely for sure, but I think it was from three. And I just tried today and did variations of it again. So you can see here this link, jump to original message. That jumps you back here. The present will be you know it's much later because this was days ago um so it's going to jump through tons and tons of stuff we won't do that but but when you're looking at a post and then you click back to the parent of it then we can see that and you can use this to get back to it so that's important okay so here's the previous step and you'll notice that we weren't able to do that here because it didn't show the parent for some reason and it says it's a variation of something. And I didn't just put this prompt in with the image and get this directly, right? As you can see, it came from here. So now we'll just trace this back one more step, to see how we got this. And I believe that that one was based on this one right here, just because it looks more similar to this. And I didn't do anything with these, right? There's no variations of those or upscales. We, and it definitely came from this. So it's got to be one or three. And I believe it's three because it's closer. So we'll go back one more step. There you go. I did uh, upscale of two. I remember that. And I got variations of one and two. I believe that it's from the two one. Uh, this, the, what we were looking at here, um, I believe they're variations of, of two. And here we did, you know, this one, one and three. Three was the one that then turned into uh, what we got here. And I upscaled number three there. And that took us to the final well, it's not a final one. It's a work in progress, but it was an improvement. I, I wanted to make a kind of an artistic thing representing myself, have a painting behind, or just or just that the jungle was kind of cool and had colors, colored regions, more colorful than what I started with. As you can see, it's a lot more colorful than uh, what I started with. I had a black shirt on, and this is a lilac bush behind me, just after I got the watering system going again. So the, the bush is happy. But before that, it was dried out. So that was a celebration. But I wanted it to be colorful. So let's go back and trace it back and keep going back and figure it out. So yeah, one and two. I know it looks more like this one, right? So that's probably, you can see that this dude or whatever, he kind of evolved into, into this. Uh, and then one and three, well, I think three then went into. Now it doesn't say jump to the other one present we don't want to click because that would be a lot later like days later but um it would say jump to the um yeah it, it's a different message right it would say jump to original message it's the one that you were on before you clicked back to the parent so here we have one and two so now we'll just go back again remember it's this one here trace it back one more so i'm showing you how i made that one so i remastered this I was in version five before. Now we don't have to do that. We can just use the latest version of mid journey. Uh, we'll look at the versions after, right? Like slash settings, just to keep it focused. We won't do that. We're still, we're still tracking it back, but we're near the beginning now, at least I believe so. So the reason that this happened is I was in version five of mid journey. I clicked remaster and then it went to the latest version, which was version 5.2. I, would, I guess it's a beta thing, like when it's 5.1, like 0.2, I'm guessing it's in beta. It's just a minor variation version instead of a major one, because 6 is coming, and then 7. But uh, that's what happens. So it, it didn't, it, it just goes to the latest one. Because when I was working in an earlier one, like Mid Journey 3, and then I'd click remaster, it would go into something, some beta version that 
which then became four probably, but it wasn't four back then. And so then lately when I was working on that um, and I clicked, so that's like this stuff here. So I was working on the uh, Alicia jumping into the cenote. Okay, so I went back to version three um, and I was trying to use that, right? And when I clicked remaster from those, like I did before, like many months ago, it didn't work the same way, just by the way. It did not uh, do what I wanted. So it, when it remastered, it then used the latest version. And so it didn't work for what I wanted to do. Okay. So yeah, remastering it just take, it just goes up to like the latest version. And we, we don't need to go into an earlier version of mid journey. We might as well use the most recent, um, by default. So we'll go settings here, use the settings command, and then just see there, mid journey, right? One, two, three, four, five, 5.1, 5 5.2. 5 That's the one it's on right now, latest version. So yeah, you wanna just use the latest version by default and then only go back to an earlier version for a certain, you know, for a certain reason, you have a certain purpose for it. So this, what's this? Well, I believe I did variations of three again or something. I did, I did variations of something. We can see which one it was. It's, it's whatever produced the, yeah, it's what produced what we ended up using, what I, what I went with, which is still just a work in progress. But this thing here, which I then upscaled three from mm -hmm. this, these ones right here, what what did i get them from right they're variations of something so that's what we are looking at um so on that one i think that well it says here one and three i did variations of three i just did it again when i was here so that's what that thing was that i just showed you because it worked in the past so i did it again right that's the concept because this is what it resulted in and i was like well that's good so why not generate more of those then, right? That's not going deep, it's going wide because you're generating more possibilities, but you're doing, you're still doing it for a reason, right? Because I'm trying to create something and it's part of my rebranding. But uh, it's like, if it generates something good, then why not re-roll that prompt? So here I've clicked here, you go open in Discord, right? And here it is. And so we can just re-roll that prompt. Right, and that was doing, it was doing a variation of something. See, if we don't want it to keep giving me this option to change the prompt every time we do this, we gotta turn off remix mode, which I'll show you. Like you can type in remix, that should be able to switch it. See, it says it will toggle it. So that'll toggle it off because it was just on. And the other way is in settings. So when you see, I'm jumping to the present. Um, yeah, when you see this, it's not really showing the settings. We're going to have to just type it in again. There, see? Uh, there, remix mode, that's off. Remix mode is not on. If we turn it on, it'll go green. I'm going to leave it off for now. So, so yeah, re-rolling it. That's what I was doing. It, we generate more of them. So we're making more possibilities. Then I can look at them and whichever you see, they're in different positions. It's different. It's a different design and stuff. So you could choose the one you like best and then do variations of that. Okay. And it's saying variation strong, right? So that's more variation, more variant, right? Not as subtle because it can be strong variations or subtle, like from whatever you're making variations from. <clears throat> which is, well, what is it? <clears throat> what are we re-rolling? Well, as we were saying, it was from something before. Now it's saying this, which I thought it was a different one. Actually, you know, it's this one here, right? Because uh, that's what it is. It just kind of popped into the wrong spot, I think, uh, because that's what it is. This because right here we have these ones and I upscaled three, right? That's how we got this thing. Uh, the end, you know, the, the one which is bigger here. 
when I saved it. Okay, so with this thing right here, um, if you go back to where it got created from, that was here. So we know that. And one and three, well, I think it was three. And so we were doing variations of three again. That's what I did today, like while I was doing the video or while I wasn't recording it. Um, and so then I was just letting you know that I created another one. So if we hit escape, uh, maybe multiple times, we're going to get back down to the latest stuff that it's generating now. Okay, and then you can see that we're generating more possible ones. So let's go back a bit. All right, because that was before. There's something else. Uh, experimental, right? So here we have uh, these ones. So it's generating more by doing variations of something. Um, you know, it should say gold chain. Yeah, heavy gold chain. Okay. There's some other ones. So if I pick one, if if I get one that I like the design of it, right, and it, it, and it looks like me or it looks closer, then I can pick that one. And if I want to change the style, remember, uh, well, now I've gotten rid of that name, but I'll, I'll bring it back up again. Okay, actually, that name was Steve Henderson there, because that's where, where I found it from. So, yeah, say we want to do that, for example. Now, before we just go through and make variations of one, uh, unless you're totally sure, um, it's good to take a look at them first and then just see which one is best or closest. Or, or one that you want to uh, explore or expand or improve upon or something, right? So it's good to just look through them quickly first like that to see if there's one that you want to use for the art. In this case, to represent myself, right? Um, and yeah, I do live in the woods, right? And the, the thing is, I did take the picture like this, but I mean, it, I mean, you can see the trees there, the fir trees, right? lilacs right behind me it's in the in the yard um but yeah i am a kind of a woodsman but also more of a technical person um anyway but i want to show myself as a creative person right so i'm making it uh like art it's like there's art behind me it's very artistic it's colorful uh that's why i put lisa frank but you'll notice that that's the only artist i put in and i might want to make the, the the style more unique so then we would combine more artists together right so yeah looking at the different ones um, you would pick one from all of those maybe and then and then you can make more variations of it picking a better one um, which is closest to what I'm trying to make uh, and it, it needs to actually look like me too or similar right because it can change as you can see they're different they're not the same. It doesn't even look like the same dude uh, here. It's a bit different. Okay. Yeah, these aren't bad, right? I'm not sure if the chain, if it has the chain there. Um, let's see. Anyway, I'm giving you that as an example. So let's see here. Yeah, like this isn't bad. I'm sure it could be improved upon. Mm, I mean, you can see the eyes in this one a little bit better than that one because the light, right? The angle of the sun and the shadows. Okay, I'm still going to just use that one, for example. Number two, so I'm upscaling to do variations of it. Um, yeah, see, remix mode is off now, so you see how that works, right? If we re-roll this prompt, it's just more like this, but the same prompt that I ran, see that, this thing here, so we'll just do it again, or give it some time before clicking it again. Um, in this case, I can just do it again, because it's not like there was a bunch in the queue or anything like that. Um, like, you can have three running at the same time, usually, and up to ten in the queue behind it. That's the number of jobs. So yeah, we only put a few jobs in, so it wouldn't be full. But yeah, re-rolling it again, it's just simply running the prompt again, which was a variation of a certain one. Uh, yeah, and then also for, I was about to say uh, for, um, well, we'll go back there. 
jump to original post, right? Get back here. So yeah, for let's say for curation, uh, let's get a link to this, right? I'm I'm working in Discord here in the in the app, like the desktop app of Discord, uh, in a private message chat with the Mid Journey bot. So I'll just go copy message link, and this is continuing this thing. Uh, yeah, this is talking about other future things. Okay, but this right here, <clears throat> basically, I was saying, yeah, maybe we'll do something with this, like number two here, right? All right, so if you keep links to them, now what I do um, working on a certain project is take a picture of it. Like you could put all four, or if you're only, if you only care about one of them, you can like take a screenshot of that. So I hold down shift, Windows key and S and then this. I used to just do control print screen, but then you have to crop from it. So here I'm just doing it in one step. So if I do that, right, then I can put that into a spreadsheet, but I, I use a template. So it's already like, um, it's already set up a certain way. All right. So then I put that image in there. Like say this is a little bigger, right? And so if you just click in the cell and paste, it goes there um, and and the link, right? Copy message link, put it there. OK, so I do that. Um, but each each of these would be the same height, right? And so then you can just put those in because you need a visual reminder of those certain ones, right? So like this one is one of them. Obviously, I picked it as a good one. So that would be one of them, right? Okay, well, we're not going to add it right now. <laughs> okay, but my point there was just to show you that because uh, from looking at different ones, I was like, okay, let's do something with this one. Let's use this. So I've now made a link to it. So it's easy to go back there and make more variations from this one. Um, but we don't have to, right? Because we can use the offspring, the results of it, the e evolutions, uh, future generations, you know, the ones that call that one a parent. See, this is upscale of it. So we go back, there you are, right? So now these, are these variations from it? Maybe, right? They don't look like it. They could be variations from a different one because uh, this is quite red, quite orange. Um, these are probably variations of that. Why do we have that? It's from a different one, right? If I click on this, we get back here and that's the variations of this one here. Okay, and yeah, that is from a different one, right? Which one? Well, you click this line up here to see the parent. Um, that should take us back up. It's because I re-rolled something probably, right? And that was doing this and it'd be like uh, variations of one, two, three, right? It was variations of three again. Okay, so have we really traced it back to the beginning though? I don't think so. If we go back and back, remember we're here, this is how it was produced, right? That one, um, one and two variations of it. This one resulted in what we were just looking at. Now we'll go back to how did I make the, these ones here, right? Okay, go back one more step. I had this, remember I was in version five and I remastered it. Okay, that's where we left off and, and went off track. So now going back earlier, how did I make this one? Okay, so we'll click back to the parent of it and see that. So upscale number one, there it is. Okay, obviously I made that one, uh, that's here, and I upscaled number one. But then how did I produce these, the, this grid here? Uh, the parent of that is here. Now, not only that, oh, I don't want to click jump to present. I would just go back to the to where we were. Um, so uh, that's this here, right? Uh, so also note the prompt so the prompt that's this the stunning award-winning world-class palette knife oil painting in the style of lisa frank depicting a handsome young man age 38 see no no gold chain that's because this is what i was doing before and then i showed a friend of mine uh this you know the upscale of that and some other one and then she suggested adding gold and then i clarified like do you mean gold paint or or real gold and then she said all of the above and then I added the gold chain. 
So yeah, now we'll go back. This is this is before I added the gold chain, right? So we'll go back. And I guess we're also going to show where I added the gold chain, right? Which you may have already seen if you were paying attention, right? More than I was uh, to the prompts, the text prompts of what we were looking. Here I'm just tracing back so we're seeing uh, how it was developed. So this was the parent of what we were just looking at again, right? From here. The parent of what we got here, this grid, of which I upscaled one, which then evolved, it changed. Um, back here, this is what it looked like. So yeah, I did variations of number one here, this one here. Um, so, and I wasn't changing the prompt, it's always the same. But the thing is, this doesn't have a parent. You can see there's no link. It's also the beginning. It's the first one, right? There's nothing before that. So that's where it began. <clears throat> copy message link. You can see back here from my notes when I was making this, uh, yeah, there's suggested adding gold. This is just future, those are just future ideas, so we don't need that here. Okay, because first we have to build the character before we try to make anything more advanced. Okay, so yeah, at the very beginning, exactly, that is going to be that first post right there. Uh-oh. Okay, we're still good. <laughs> that was the first post. So that was it. And I just put this in. This short link is obviously our image. The input image. Okay. You can see that here also. Input image. I uploaded it. This is the link. I needed that so I could put that link in, right? Okay, so then, then we'll show from the beginning how do we do it. Well, I've already uploaded the image. Uh, we will have to make another example or just do the same thing again, just to show you, right? When I did it and started there, I entered this prompt. Then I entered the same prompt again, I think. So I may have done it multiple times, or you can click the reroll button, which would be the same thing. So I just kept using that same one. You can see in my notes that this is the prompt I put in with the image link. It's an image prompt. Right, and it has this text prompt. I did that for a while, and then later I changed the prompt. Okay, so you can see all these. Uh, I didn't like this, right? Didn't do anything with it. And then this one, I upscaled one, but then that one was a dead end. Well, maybe, right? The Because we know now that from this one, when I did variations of that one, that one resulted in what I'm currently using, but which still is a work in progress. Okay, so it came from this one. So now you saw it in reverse, um, and it's harder to do it, uh, to show it going forward. What we have to do is track back like that, going in reverse, which I showed you. We had to look at that in here because I could not do it on the website here because we can't just click on parent and keep going back, right? So we had, had to do it like this, where we clicked on that upper line to get to the parent. But then what I got to actually do is take note of them or save each image and then play play that in reverse, right? Put each image into PowerPoint, but in reverse, and then show you them going forward. Um, and you've already seen it in reverse, so you probably don't need it going forward now. All right, so that's just, that's just a note for in the future, so don't worry about it. Um, and now what you're gonna see in phase two, I've already done phase one, so I showed you how that one was created. Now you saw that it was maybe four um, if you stack them, the number of times that it was a variation of something or an upscale and then a variation and it's changed and remaster, right? It went from version 5 to version 5.2. There, 5.2. Um, the, the number of times that I did a variation of one. And so building that family tree up here, the parent, and then, you know, offspring from it and pick one of them and then offspring from that and then pick one of those and offspring from that and so on. So that family tree going deep, building more generations as it goes, um, it was probably about four or five, right? So we saw that. And now what I'm going to do, this is now phase two. I'm going to show you because the actual process I followed may be going deep, uh, going wide before going deep. So exploring possibilities. Um, that's what I was doing at first because what we're exploring is multidimensional, right? And we don't know how many there are. There's a very large number. 
but obviously we could try changing the prompt and we could try um, doing just basically putting the same thing in many times, right? With different seeds because we're getting a random seed every time. And so we're making samples of that large space. So we want to take a we want to take some samples. So that's what I did first. So here you can see these here. It's just putting the same prompt in multiple times. And you could specify the seed if you want, but here we haven't done that. And we're going to keep it simple in this video because I'm going to do a, a mini course on making this kind of stuff, making art based on a photo of yourself and then and then steering it and make and choosing the style you want, right? Influencing it and making it into what you want it to be, right? But we're not doing that right now. In this video, we're just looking at how I made that thing. And so I'm showing you that. So the first part was, how did I do that one directly? Well, we looked at that by going backwards through the lineage, up the family tree to, to the beginning. Right here, variation of one. Okay. Um, but what did I actually practically do, which was more. So you'll see that here. I did this, and I'm going to describe to you now that. So if you, you may not need this part of the video, so you can leave the video if you don't want to go into more detail because you've already got it with the more focused uh, direct path. But in reality, I did not do that direct path because some of the things are dead ends, right? And I have to generate more variations than I actually need because I'm exploring the possibilities, find the ones that I like best or that's closest to the um, vision or what I'm trying to create. And then I would drill deeper with those, right? Make variations of them. So that's what you're going to see. I generated more possibilities. I just put the same prompt in again or clicked reroll. But in my case, I just put it in again. It's the same thing. So now we'll look at the next one. It's just the same thing again, same prompt again, because I just went uh, like we were in version five, though. So that's what this, that's what was happening there. So but as I told you earlier, we want to just by default, you might as well be in the current version of mid journey. So, which I think we are now. So that was all I was doing at the beginning. I, I wrote a prompt and then I go imagine and put the prompt in. And of course the image link was this, right? It's just a link. It's just a link that you get when you upload the photo. Now, for some reason you don't see the photo back here. So, so you're missing that step. So we have to do it, but I don't see a point in uploading the same video, the same photo again. Right, I'll just go back to it. Okay, but it's, it's confusing because it's not there. Well, it mixed with these, so that's fine. Okay, so once you upload an image, how do you upload an image? You take the image and drag it right into here, like that, see? Or down into here or whatever. See, now it's gonna upload. <clears throat> and then you just hit enter. Hit enter and that will, will, that will upload. Here we won't do that because it's already uploaded. So you just drag it in and then hit enter. And once it uploads, you then click on your image like this, just like what I'm doing now. Then you click open in browser. Then you copy this URL. See, I got that control X or control C. I copied it, right? I cut it in our case, but copy, right? Control C and then here, uh, control V, paste it. You need that. And so then you just put that in with the prompt that you write. So that's the prompt that I wrote. So I just put those together. That's how I created it. Um, there it is right there. And so then you copy that and go imagine and paste it in. Okay, so those are the actual steps to doing it. We'll do it again here. We got this prompt, right? We've got the link to it in it first, just one image. You can actually put multiple images in. If we want to mix me with, like, that would be silly. Of course, I could do it with the dragon. I could change it into, I could merge myself with the dragon. Um, but I was, I was talking about, the, no, no, not this. I wasn't talking about that first. But um, number 18, right? Just for fun energy, number 18. That was what I mixed with the dragon. And this is one of the results but I was selective to get this one, right? There was actually lots, I tried different ways of merging them. And then uh, we get a lot of different possibilities. And then I pick this one, I'm like, that's a monster girl. We can do, we can build from there.
Um, so here I was going to actually just merge it with this, but it's too silly. I don't really want to do that. I could mix me with the dragon though, just like I did with, with her. Um, this is art I created earlier. Uh, and that art was based on art I created er earlier, many months before. But yeah, taking this just for fun energy 18, I mixed it with this dragon. Um, and this is one of the outputs. So why don't we just use this dragon? Now we'll just, we can just drag the thing in um, to see that thing about putting the image in, but I showed you that already, so we don't actually need to, right? So in this case, since the image already exists, I'm gonna get the job ID from the file name because I just saved the file. So it's it has this name automatically, right? I didn't make that. That name is what it is. So if we go show job ID, so what I hit there was I indicated I wanted to do show, like I clicked on it or something, and then I pressed tab, I believe, to go into that spot to type a parameter, uh, the job ID. So if you go show a job ID, right, show, tab, paste in job ID, hit enter. Okay, that will bring up that post. Oh, yeah, it is. See, we're just down to the bottom, the latest. So there's that post, that's that image. Um, I want to base it on this, right? So we need the, the link to this image. So that's why we're doing that here. Once you upload an image, you, then you can do this and click that button, and then it will open in your browser. And then you just copy that URL in the address bar of your browser. Okay, so now here we're just doing something silly and we're combining it with that dragon. Okay, because if you want to put more than one image into your prompt, uh, that then you can do that. So as we were showing from the beginning, I've got this image and uh, my prompt, and that's how I did it. I put that in, right? So copy that, uh, dash, imagine, there it is, right? We can click this, or I can hit tab up here. Uh, well, normally when I'm doing it, I would then hit tab and then just go paste, enter. Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing, but try combining me with the dragon. Yeah, that's this here. So now we got um, URL of the dragon art, then a URL of my uploaded photo of myself, and then the same thing here. Now, but now we have still the same prompt, right? We haven't changed it yet. So we could change it as well. So let's try that because I'm actually there's it should have a space there. Something went wrong with, you know, something changed there for some reason. Um, so now we'll add in something with a dragon, I guess. I'm just fixing that typo first. So that's what I did. So here now we can say this guy um, that's also a dragon. Okay, a man dragon combo. That was one way to describe me in this case. <laughs> so putting two images in. So that's an example there of putting in two images. And if you want, you can then get your shortened link so that it's easier to use. See? So that dragon, this is the full URL of that kind of dragon thing. Okay. Mexican mural style. See? Okay, so that art, that was the image, uh, and this is a shortened link. Because I put that one first, right? So that's why the short link of the first link is of the image I put in first, and then the second, there is putting a dragon behind me there, right? Uh, at least I think it was. Yeah, and then the second link is the other one, which is, well, we already have that, because that's that's this one the photo of me okay so yeah that's how it starts you got it you upload an image you get a link to that and it's like this it's not a short link right it's the full thing you just put that in with your text prompt that you write and then and you can base that on mine right and you can change it write it however you want so we can play with that a little bit but for now in this video really i'm showing how i made it so we'll go back to that okay and so you can see here, 
it's producing um, a dude with a dragon, right? You can see that here. But you want to combine them. This is a combo, right? We want to say that it's a creature. Um, we have to make, like, I want to make them into one thing, right? So I ha obviously have to describe it better, like differently, just basically differently, because it didn't work, right? So that's why we try something else. Depicting this dude. Okay, so uh, you could say it's a man that looks like a dragon or a dragon that looks like a man, right? Or a anthropomorphic dragon, or you could say, because this isn't what this isn't what we want, right? That didn't work. Okay, so it's it's a creature that's a combination, uh, a creature. Uh, it's a combination. I'm not sure if that's gonna work. Of a man and a dragon, right? It has to be a single. It has to be a single individual. So depicting a handsome young creature. Okay, I'm gonna try it something like that. Kind of confusing, right? Um, so that's one way of saying it. So if we say that it's an anthropomorphic dragon, that will give you something else. And we don't know what it will look like unless we try it. Anthro. Oh, more thick. That's not even right. <laughs> I'm going to basically need Google uh, to fix that. Okay. Cat trying to distract me there, right? Anthropomorphism. Yeah. I, f I feel like I spelled it right, but it, I mean wrong, but then it, it seems like it was actually right. Anthropomorphism. Anthropomorphic, eh? It really is anthropomorphic. All right. I thought I was missing a letter or something. Uh, so this is when we are saying that the creature is a combination of a man and a dragon. It still doesn't work because it's really showing two for me, in my opinion. And that isn't what, what I'm intending, right? So this dude is supposed to be a dragon. Okay. Try again. Um... Anthropomorphic dragon. That's what we tried before. Uh, that one is going to come, right? It's it's producing that, so we're going to see what it is. Um, what I was trying before didn't work, right? A combination of a man and a dragon. So that combination thing, isn't it? Here, it may be combining it there. I mean, it's lining up. Yeah, so it's, it's combining it uh, there, right? And this one's combined. Uh, so that's one way of doing it, right? And then you can just do variations of them. So two and four, they have it combined. These ones are separate, so we won't we don't do those. So we're selecting by which ones we pick, right? So that's like starting the process from the beginning there. Putting in your images, image or images in your in your prompt, trying different prompts until it works. Uh because if you're trying to get it to and so this can be like a samurai kind of thing here. Maybe. I mean, whatever. It's like now it's like I have a, dr a pet dragon or this dragon has my back. Right. And so both of them are there. Uh, so then you don't you don't F with this dude. Right. Because that obviously with the dragon, it's more more dangerous to to mess with them. And here the dragon is combining with them and it's just the beginning. Right. It will. Um, Hopefully the video is still recording there, but yeah, it, it, it will, it will morph. It will change more. So you have to just do variations and try it. So that's one way. Now, as I was saying, you can try different ways of writing it. And, and once, once you can try those and see what you get. So you get variation and then whichever ones like here, we have half of them are uh, working, right? And half it's separate, but half it's working. So then you can just re-roll it. You can just keep running that same prompt more times to get more variations, more possibilities, right? Explore them, find the one that gives you the right style, or be more specific in your prompt in order to get that. Like, say you want low angle, um, like a low camera angle, then the camera will go lower and look up at the person, right? So however you want to change it, and if you 
like we don't have Lisa Frank in there, right? But if we put Lisa Frank and and uh, and Steve Henderson, for example, so the same thing here with the anthropomorphic dragon, but change is the style. So uh, yeah, so in the style of Lisa Frank. Now I also added the gold chain too, right? So adding gold, uh, the gold chain got added later, but that's not here. It's not in the notes, but it is the prompt that I used. And you can see it here in the notes I made today. Um, you can see the prompt that I've used for the thing that I showed you that that's a, which is a uh, uh, work in progress. So that's what it is. So it's kind of the same thing. But then it says in the style of Lisa Frank. And we're going to also add into that. Okay, so it's this painting in the style of Lisa Frank and Steve Henderson depicting the same thing the anthropomorphic dragon. Imagine. Okay, so then we just put that in. So if I go and input the same thing multiple times i can do that which i'm showing you right there or we can re-roll but you have to wait a minute till it produces it depending on if you had other ones in the queue then you'd wait longer but normally you wait just it just should be about a minute right then you could re-roll them but here we're generating more possible ones so we can do that you can also blend them which would be a different way but to do that you have to upload the images And I did this, if you are curious, back on July 7th when I blended them, going from Just for Fun Energy number 8 and this dragon and producing this as well as other ones, that's just one of them. There's other possibilities. And then we explored, we looked at some of that stuff and I started to develop those into something. That was the, the previous video, the one I just did before this, right? But back on July 7th when I actually made this, there was other ones. And... The way that I combined this and this, I did that in multiple different ways, like as experiments. So I showed you that. So if you're curious, you can check it out in the July 7th video. Um, so yeah, we can do that same thing. Not the exact same thing, but something like it. So if you use the blend command and then upload, you have to upload the images. We can't just put a link. Okay, so if we try just doing it from the beginning, right? It's from an actual photo. We can also use this and we'll try that too, right? Uh, and that'll be cool. We'll do that as another experiment here. Okay, so you just you just up you just have to drag them in and upload them, right? Uh, it says plus four more. I'm not sure if it I don't know, maybe it can do more, but for now I'm just blending too. Okay, so the command there is blend. Right? I hit tab after I entered blend. Oh yeah, I gotta plug it in. Remember? The battery's too low. Just a sec. Right, so we use the blend command and you have to attach files. We can't just put a URL, right? So we'll upload them. So I've tried blending these two. That's another experiment to see what will happen. Uh, to make this more like me, right? Something like that. Uh, although it does look like me, obviously the hairstyle is different. And the beard um, yeah it's about the the time for a haircut is coming up it's actually pretty by the regular schedule it's coming up soon um, but anyway right but what I was actually gonna do so we're gonna do that now was combining it with the dragon right hit enter okay so we'll try that so here's what happened when we blended it. So you notice how when you blend, you don't get to type in a prompt. There's no text prompt, but it's a thing that you can do with different images and see how it works. All right, so then something we can do is also blend the same two again. Will it give us the same thing? So we don't have to upload them again, right? Blend and put the two in again, because all you have to do is click reroll, right? So we'll try that. The first one there, clearly from what you can see there, that is the blending of these two. Because I was actually there by a lilac hedge that I made, right? It's just a photo I took and I wasn't looking into the camera. I'm looking somewhere else, off into the distance or just to the trees close by. 
and that's a painting I generated based on it, but with a specific prompt and obviously through multiple variations, right, down the family tree. So blending those two, we got this result. So it's giving four possibilities, but that means it could give you more possibilities. These are just four of them. So when you re-roll it, you'll get more. And I just did that a minute ago. So it's probably producing them here. See, that was from hitting re-roll and that's almost done, right? So it, this should give you a different result. So that's, that's what we're experimenting with right now to see what happens. All right, let's see. So there's, and it's kind of like a photo, right? Like my first one, but then you can see some color added onto my black shirt, right? So it's a bit of a merge, a bit of a combination of the two. And then if you look at those, and then we look at after re-rolling it, same thing, you should get something different. Mm, yeah, it's here. This is a completed one. Yeah, so then I'm looking in different angles. I'm always looking away, not directly into the camera because of, uh, well, I mean, it's based on these, which would that was based on this. And yeah, that's where I started. So they're both like that. And we want, I mean, I want to make my eyes the right color and stuff. They probably are uh, because it's hazel. It's called hazel, right? And so it's kind of green, so this is good. But then it's supposed to have little orange uh, stripes in it because my hazel eyes, if I take a close-up picture of them, it'll be a bit like some orange or whatever or brown. Um, so, but we'll just specify it by saying ha with hazel eyes, right? Uh, at least that's what we'll do when we have a text prompt. Hazel eyes or hazel colored eyes, right? So we can add that to be more specific to the prompt. But then, then I'm not showing you how I made the art. I'm showing you how I continue to refine it, right? Um, so yeah, I guess we'll go back and show how I made it. What I was doing here is showing you that you can blend multiple images because we were looking at doing that by putting multiple images into the prompt. Because when you're starting your own, making the art based on a photo of yourself, as I was doing, um, you might want to put in more than one photo. So you can do that. They can be both of you. They don't, one doesn't have to be a dragon or whatever, right? So it can be, they can still be of you. They could be in different, different angles. Uh, yeah, so you put in those images and you got your description and here's a style and we can change it, right? Um, okay, like say this one, for example. Okay, I got to turn on remix again, though, because it's not on, right? So I'm just doing a variation of that straight. So you can switch remix on or that's just toggling it, so it's it was off, so now it's on. You can also click it in the settings to switch it on or off. So here, I'm doing a variation of that one, and then I'm changing the prompt. It says it's like a palette knife oil painting. Um, yeah, like for examples of that, go back to my first training, like Introduction to Making Amazing AI Art, and I showed some of those, of these paintings in the jungle, and that's what I really mean by a palette knife oil painting. Um, that style that I meant back there. You could also put mosaic or something, right? Also here, right? We can try that because we can just put different things in and see how it will be. And uh, yeah, and then I'm gonna go like this: pastel, pastel colors. Okay. So yeah, we could say like low angle. Right, so we can just be more specific with our prompt. Also, we can start the prompt out. We can start trying uh, doing different variations of the prompt on the images that we like best. Right, so that was why we we're talking about curation. So, say we want to go back to this one, right? Because it's one of the good ones. This, this is the link of it. So we get the link, put it in the browser, and then we'll be on a page like this where you can. Um, uh, interact with that, generate more. So what were we doing back here? Uh, well, I did track it back to the beginning. So I showed you that path. 
Um, yeah. And, and so once we got back to the beginning, then I was going to show you, you know, phase two, what did I actually do? Well, I generated different possibilities. I liked this one. I made variations of it. I made, I did the same thing again, right? It's the same prompt. This is right from the beginning. Here's four more. I didn't like them. I didn't do anything with any of those. Uh, the same thing again, same prompt, right? But I was still in mid journey version five. I got these ones. I upscaled one and did variations of it. Um, then you have this. Well, this is a result from something, right? Well, it was back from the first one because it's from the very beginning when I did a variation of this one right here. That's how we got uh, these. So that's that's the one that then turned into what, what I used. Uh, I liked one best and I upscaled it. One, two, three, four. Okay, so this is still my prompt, right? I'm still in version five. So when I... Yeah, I just did variation from one. It says remix, it doesn't say variations, but I was in remix mode and I didn't edit the prompt, right? It's still the same. Well, at least I think it's the same. I'm pretty sure that's what I started with, unless I added like palette knife or something like change the style. But uh, I think that it's just the same. You can see this prompt right here. Okay, and then here, it's still the same, uh, but I changed it, handsome. Uh, no, that's still there. So obviously I did something different. Yeah, okay, the style of Lisa Frank. So, so when I did the very, so it is a remix. I mean, lit, it is officially one because I edited the prompt, right? So back here from the very beginning, when I did a variation of that one, and I edited the prompt on that one that time, and I added in, in the style of Lisa Frank, right? That's how it happened. Here's my notes from the beginning when I did it. So it doesn't say Lisa Frank there. Okay, and it doesn't say it here either. And then here it does say it with Lisa Frank, right? So I did actually do I did actually do a remix of the first one. I hope it doesn't speak it. I did a remix of that and I changed the prompt. So when I did a variation of one, uh, I changed it and then I added in in the style of Lisa Frank and then the result of that was this right here. Um, so see it's a remix, right. Variation of one, I meant variation of one from the one before, but I changed the prompt and added in the style of Lisa Frank to add more color. So that's how we got here. So now I'm showing you how I actually did it. But as, as I'm saying, we can't just go directly to the end because we have to see what I did with each step. So I was making different ones, right? So we'll just continue. I'm telling you the story of how I made it. So I did upscale that one. And there's paint on my face too, not just on the background. Okay. And uh, it's one of the upscales from an earlier one there. And see, I didn't do anything from this one. And then here we have uh variations of something right from before uh i very i did variations of it i got this and then i upscaled four and variations of it but did i change the prompt again i don't know but probably not okay because that's what it shows you here so i did variations of it but i'm just saying from my memory i probably didn't change the prompt there so here it is but i can't tell you that for sure right and then we just go to the next step so here Remember with the colors, right? This is a variation of something, right? It looks similar. It's one of the first times that I did variations of that one, you know, which I'm going to show you back. Oh, it's a different one. See, I thought we'd be, I thought, I thought we'd be back on uh, uh, this one here and that, but no, we're not. It's actually from this where we did variations of that one. And that resulted in these when adding in the style of Lisa Frank, right? Because I didn't have that before. So when I added that, then you can see these colors. So then you can see the color, how it became more colorful and, and trippy, psychedelic, right? And I liked the first one kind of, and it kind of looks like me, right? And I didn't want to use this one over here. Um, and I, yeah, I don't want the forehead. I don't want this part to be all scrunched up like tight because it's better if it's relaxed. And if you see in my original photo, 
there. This is my actual one because it's not all scrunched up here, right? It's not tensed, scrunched together. It's I'm relaxed. This one, it's showing it like that. Okay. Um, so back to where we were in the browser. So yeah, that yeah, I don't want it tightened up there, but relaxed, and that that's there. Okay. Now it's not like I like this and it's perfect or anything like that. It's just I was like, huh. I, I mean, this is to me, this is better or it's closer to an ideal because it's not nothing's like better or worse, although we do judge it, but it's not about judging it. It's more about is it closer to what you're trying to create? So I didn't want to use this, but I liked this kind of. And so I upscaled it. We can also do variations. And I may have done a variation of the upscale right out after which you'll see because back here right when we got this one i upscaled it but then and then in a little bit i probably made variations of that upscale right so yeah we'll just continue on so here we were i upscaled one from this one only and so basically i was starting from the beginning and then i was i did a variation of something i was in remix mode and then i added in in the style of lisa frank to add some more color and then you can see i did that more than once I tried it with different ones that I that had potential, so I would have copied and pasted that same prompt um, in. Is it this? No, because it has to say Lisa Frank. Okay, but I had that, and I did a variation of something. I did it to multiple ones, so I had this on my clipboard, right? I copied it, and and I did variations of things and put that in there. Like you can go variation of this uh, with this prompt, paste the prompt in. So it's kind of the same thing, uh, but we might want to add in the now, right, gold. So it had, uh, it doesn't show that there, but that's fine. Because in the ones from today, I have that. This is the prompt I used for the one that we started with. It's just basically I added wearing a heavy gold chain. But then there's also something else. If we want to change the style, we can do that. Uh, we got to go to the new stuff we were adding today where I added in, I put Steve Henderson in as an experiment. And there might be something else. Yeah, there is definitely because that other thing is the hazel eyes. All right. Now, before we submit it, let's copy it. So that's with my original image and all this. We've done some edits to it, and it's it's I, the man with hazel colored eyes wearing a heavy gold chain. Copy, select all, like control A for select all, control C for copy, and then submit. Okay. There. Pasted it here. Wow, we're already over an hour, eh? Okay, that's fine though. Um, so back then when I was here, this is an upscale of one of them and it was it was number one in that one that it was, which is back here, there. Uh, from that one, I actually hit remaster. And so then we switched from version five to version 5.2 when, when I did that back then. And this is a, di a different one, right? You can remember, you remember that one and uh, I upscaled it and here it is. And I did variations of it and I remastered it. So then it went to version 5.2, the latest version. And this is another one I upscaled. Okay, I did variations of that. See, but I didn't remaster. I just did variations of that there. And then here, uh, this thing is the result of something that I did earlier, right? So if we click on that to get to the parent, see that's from this one. So is it is it the variations of it or the remaster? Well, it says remaster right there. So now we're in version 5.2. See, so it produced these. You can still see my prompt. It's after adding in the style of Lisa Frank, but that already happened before. Um, and I haven't changed it more, right? It's just remastering straight up. And there you can see these different, uh, it's like different facial expressions and stuff, adding glasses. It's almost, that's like a different person um, now you can have variations that are strong, like varying it more, or you can vary it more subtly. And that was added recently, either in 5.1 or 5.2, right? It's a recent addition. 
and I like I like it. I think there's other ways to do it, maybe with more like being more specific, more controlling, right? In the prompt, I don't know what that is, but now they've added it uh, as a button, so it's it's easy to do that. And yeah, I upscaled one and two, one and two. Okay, and then here we got another one, right? It's you can see that they have some similarity. Um, yeah, and from this one, I worked with one and two, and two more than one, right? Because you can see I upscaled two, and with one and two, I did variations of both. But if, if one of them is better or closer to the ideal or the end result vision, um, then I would do more variations of that one. So whichever ones are closer, I do more variations of. Whichever are farther away, do fewer variations of. But if they had potential, I might have done variations of them. So that's another thing you can keep in mind. Or simply pick out of everything that's been generated, right, in your curation. Um, yeah, out of everything that's been generated, what's closest to your ideal? Uh, always keep that at the top. You could reorder them if you want, right? So whichever one is the top, you would keep making variations of that one. And if you wanted to mix in other possibilities, you could then also make variations of some of your other ones, like your top three or something like that. Or if you're looking through any of them that where you're like, hey, let's try that and see what happens with it, you can do that. But if you're working like strictly on the uh, approach of, of deep, then you would just, whichever one is closest, you would only be vari making variations of that. You wouldn't really be making variations of any other ones. And then you just keep doing that because if you get something better than it, it beats it. It's like the control. If you beat the control, you got a new one, which becomes the best, like the, the, the closest to the vision. And then you would keep making variations of that. And so that if you do it that way, it's strictly deep and you'll build more generations like in a family tree faster that way. And then if, and then also your end result, um, tracking it back, you'll see that it has more generations, yeah, deeper, faster. So it will have taken, it will have gone through more iterations of you making variations of something and selecting from those, selecting, you know, survival of the fittest. But what's the fittest? Well, that's your fitness function, right? You, you choose whatever's closest to the ideal, the vision of what, of the art you're trying to make. So you pick something and then you can steer it in a different direction, right? Change the style, uh, change the artists that you put into it and other things that we can add. And we're not really talking about them yet at this point, because I'm just in this video, I, I said, I'd just show you what I did. So I'm not going to go into more detail and things that I could have done or what we could do, because that would obviously take a lot longer. So here we're just looking at what I did. So yeah, obviously this this thing I think ended up uh, turning into this over time, and of course I added the gold chain, right? Where are we now? Now I got confused. Well, we'll just get rid of these other ones, right? So yeah, right here, this is where we were uh, in going chronologically from the beginning, because I'm doing phase two, which is showing what I actually did, which is not just the direct path which we showed at the beginning in reverse, um, that direct path isn't the only thing I did. It's what it ended up being in order to show you that one, in order to have this one and, and have produced it. But it wasn't the way I made it, because if you see how I made it, these were some other things along the way before that happened, right? Absolutely. So there we have it, one and two. And so I believe variations of two ended up turning into this one over time. So here we have another one, right? It's something, whatever, right? We don't necessarily want to do this because it will take a long time. This is a variation of four, right? And it, it turned into this. And maybe I added to it. Yeah, because you can see that back here, that was the prompt. And it was in version five, right? And it's still in that in the next one, I think, unless I changed into version two, five, like, I changed the setting to the most recent one at a certain point, which we'll see. And so, uh, but do you, you do see that that was the prompt there. Uh, can you be more quiet there, Dad? Okay, so this was the prompt there. And when I did a variation of four, I added to it and added in the style of Lisa Frank. 
So obviously I was doing the same thing with different ones and seeing what would happen. And this is another one of the results of it, but I didn't use these. I may have looked at them, but didn't use them. And then we have the next one, All right? Same thing. So I did a variation of three from this, but this could be from a different one, right? That's why this is handy to be able to click that link. Cause you can see I did variations of this. We are still in version five, and I didn't remaster this one, but the other ones I did, which brought it to the latest version. Here we were just doing, I tried, you know, I was experimenting. So I tried variations and I tried remaster and then we saw what happened with it. And then I liked what I got in uh, version 5.2, right? Which you're not seeing here. I was still in version five, but it is, and I did variation th of three here. So that's that. So there'll be something that results from this. Um, and at a certain point, I changed the version 5.2. And I can't tell you if that was here or not, because this is just when you, I remastered something, remember? And that got you into 5.2, see? <laughs> and then I upscaled those. And so that's why we have this one. Um, and so it doesn't mean that I changed the setting to 5.2, because this is just an upscale from that one. But I didn't do anything with it. But as you can see, in 5.2, um, we can do strong variations or subtle. It would, they've broken it down more, so it wasn't just make variations. So now, if you want to make them closer to it and not change so much, you do that. And if you want to make the variations more more variant, like very like have things change more random. In both cases, it's random, but more just the the changes will be bigger than use strong. Okay, and that's another upscale, right? It's another upscale from a remastered one. Um, but I could have just started in version 5.2. I'm just saying that I didn't, but I would recommend you just start in the latest version. What I did was in, I was in version 5 still, but then I started, once I hit remaster and then got into the latest version, um, then I started to play with that, right? I, I changed it to that and then went ahead with that after it. So that's what you'll see. Uh, this one, yeah, that's one of the upscales, right? From a remastered one. So it was in version 5.2. I upscaled it, got this, and then you can see I started playing with this, like make strong, you know, vary them more and also vary them subtly from this. And this one is what, right? Well, there you go. See, ver strong variations from something. Uh, from one or two here, see? back from here. Oh, I see. So it says strong variations because it's in version 5.2. So I probably changed, I may have gone into settings and then changed the version, right? And went to 5.2. I possibly may have done that here or maybe not. Okay. Uh, cause it just, it's variations. They're strong, you know, more variant it's by default. So that's why it's just saying that there. Um, and once you, once you're on an upscale and you're in version 5.2 or you've already remastered it and then you upscale it, you'd get something like this. Now you start to get that option and you got these newer, these options that didn't exist in an earlier version, um, like panning around and expanding it. So you can see what's there and you'll see that I do play. I started to play with that uh, later. You'll see that in this example as we go forward. Okay. Upscaled four did variations of it too. Also, I mean, and then this one, you can see that these are kind of similar. It still says variation strong, so it's not subtle variations, but you can see that these are variations of something uh, it's still from this one and yeah, it's, it was this, right, strong, because it tells you that. And so I was experimenting with clicking those buttons. Like, I tried both, and then we saw what we got. So I, I also tried subtle variations, right? Here I upscaled one and three. Uh, and that one might, that could be the one that, that we worked with, because it looks like that, although I, I may be wrong. Uh, that one there, if I do that and then I change it, right, we can just put this, this is it, right? Uh, that's, yeah, I got the hazel colored eyes and the cold chain, right? So I can just select all in there and, and paste it in and hit enter. No, I got to click the button. And so we'll just try that. So that was doing a variation of three. 
Okay, there's the next one. It's an upscale from one of them. And another one. So yeah, we we shouldn't really click on them because that will make it that's long, you know, it's just making a longer process. Here, another one. Yeah, kind of a palette knife painting behind me for sure. It's twelve thirty five. Hold on a minute there, we're still recording. Okay, so there, that's one of those. That was, this is one that we just did a variation of, right? It's upscale of three there. Yeah, just hold on, because I'm going through and showing how the order that these were made. So this is the next one. Uh, this is variations of one, which we remember way back here. And upscale two and made variations of it, right? Out of those, I looked. Remember the thing with the uh, pinch together, like worry, if you're worried, you kind of crunch this all together, but if you relax that, then you're more relaxed, right? So this one is definitely not so crunched up together like that, right? That one there. And, and I didn't like the look of this one. Okay, so there, now we have this one, and this is where, where the one that we were talking about here, that's where it came from, right? Um, so this came from here. I believe it was that one because we did variations of one and two. I believe it's from this one and that resulted in these. And then you've got one and three here, right? See one and three I upscaled, but I also did variations of them and I may have changed the prompt again. I've already input in the heavy gold chain. You can't see it here, but you do see them there. And that's the one when it was variations of that one, number three, that resulted in those, I think, directly. It may have. Um, we will see that. Well, we might see that. Um, I think we will see that. I'm pretty sure we already did. Okay, next one. So we can skip it, right? Because it's not, it's not the direct path that led to this. It's another aside, right? Another aside, another aside. Uh, that was another one of them. Yeah, so that's this one here, right? Number one, and the other one is number three. Okay, so that was just upscale of one. I did upscale of one and three, but also variations of them. So there's the other one, right? That's number three. Okay, right there. So I, I upscaled it. I did variations of it or remix, but uh, here it is. And then I varied it. Try strong variations and subtle ones. So more vary, very more, and also vary just more subtly in a more subtle way. So yeah, this is interesting. And you can see every one of these paintings is unique. So it's like uniqueness at scale. Um, what happened then? I guess that's another one I produced back then. Yeah, because see, it looked a bit like something we were doing later, like today. But, uh, but yeah, I did do that back then and upscaled number four from it. But like, where did this come from? Uh, well, okay, we added, obviously, the style of Lisa Frank and wearing the heavy gold chain, right? Uh, earlier, I added that. Late, another time, I added this. But where did this come from? It's from back here. It may be variations of one or three. I think it's probably one, though, with that yellow. Because, see, it's not of these because I didn't do anything with those. So I think it's a one and that yellow stuff in the background that's expanding here and see we got gold, which may be influencing that. So yeah, that's how those happened. And I did a, I did an upscale of four and there's this Remember that there's a sides, right? So we don't have to look at everything and there you have it. Okay. And that, that is a variation of it directly. So it's a variation of number three there. It's one of the one, one of the times I did variation of three, you can do it more times if you want. If you re-roll there, then you're doing the same thing. Re-rolling the same prompt is the same as going back here and hitting variation of three again and doing the same thing without changing the prompt. If that's what I did the first time, re-rolling it is doing exactly whatever I did to make this one here, which is with this prompt. Um, that's what re-rolling it would do. Going back up here and then hitting variation of three, uh, it is the same, but that's because I didn't change the prompt here in this point, because it's still the same. But if I did change it, then going back here and hitting that, you would then have to enter in whatever you changed. Or, of course, leave, leaving it like this 
is going to be different because it's not the same as what I did here if, if I had changed it, but I didn't. So yeah, re-rolling it is just doing the same thing again, which is a variation of that one and using that prompt. And in my case, I hadn't changed it, but you could change it. And so this is just a shortcut clicking that button. And I upscaled three and that resulted in uh, the one that we got there, which will be here. That's how I got it. Um, and these are other asides, see? And then you'll see, uh, and there's, there's interesting colors in the background and stuff, jungle, it's going more tropical and it's coloring them in with different colors because of Lisa Frank. Have, oh, and I put in Dan Mun Mumford, right? So I did different experiments where I tried making a different style. And so Lisa Frank and Dan Mumford. Okay, and this is another one, which is a result from doing a variation. Like what? Well, it tells you, right? It's either a subtle or strong variation of that one. And it tells you there, those were subtle. That's why you can see that these are closer. So yeah, this is worthwhile because you're seeing this as an example. And you can see how subtle variations, these are not as different from each other. So that's cool. So you can do that when you get closer. But when you're far away from the ideal, you'd use strong variations. Here you can see that and look at those and they're different. And it's even different camera angles and stuff. And I'm looking in different directions, right? So you use that when you're not as close. And then when you're fine tuning it and finishing the piece, you might be using subtle variations. So yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty useful. And that's what we're going to do together in the course making the art that you want and in the style you want based on your photo and creating something cool. So yeah, I also tried panning over, right? Here's the output from that one time. So maybe the first time I clicked pan over to the left was on this one. And then, yeah, I see I clicked that. And so if we jump back here again, then this is what resulted from it. There's these four. These were the result of panning left. So you can see that the part that it already had um, is the same in all of them. That doesn't change unless you do variations, right? Strong or subtle. But the part that it imagines uh, to fill in over to our left uh, is different in each one. Now, that can be anything, right? There's an infinite number of possibilities. These are four of them. <laughs> so if you hit reroll, on this, then you'll get more of those. And yeah, because it's in remix mode, we have the opportunity to edit the prompt when we do that. But if we don't edit it, we're just leaving it the same. And so if I do that, if I actually edit the prompt now, then instead of this, yeah, instead of that, we're doing this. I'm going to ignore the version thing. I'm pretty sure I'm in that version now anyway, so that doesn't really matter. But by putting this prompt in, we got the hazel colored eyes added. We got two artists instead of one. And what if we add Dan Mumford again also, like we had before? What if I also add in uh, Mobius? <laughs> I always have to remember how to spell it. Okay. So what is that doing? Well, it's re-rolling the prompt putting in a different like a different text prompt that means that it's like going back here right and then panning left but when you do it it's entering a different prompt in because we're in remix mode so we can but if we just leave it the same it's just like that but if we put in the different prompt the hazel colored eyes specifically right then that's what we're yeah. doing so that's what happens when you do that if you're re-rolling it it's just doing the same thing from back then, panning left from what it was before. And so it gives us possibilities. And so you'll see those because I've just generated more. So we'll be able to see them. But we're still going through the history, right? So we're probably almost done, I hope. I think we're almost there because I just wanted to show you how I made them. And so I'm showing you the process of what I actually did. There, there's another one, right? It's variations, it says remix. It's a variation of something. See? Make variations of this. I was still in version 5 back then. So doing this, it stays in version 5. 
but if you hit remaster, it then goes into, it uses a more recent version and it goes to the most latest version. And that was 5.2. So then the next one is that one there. That's our holy grail. Actually, all it is is a work in progress, but it's a certain one. And I, sh I said, oh, this one's better than the other one, right? I'm going to use this. And I showed it to a few people. And so this one is just an upscale from one, right? That's how we got to it. So you can see that there was quite a few more steps than we said at the very beginning. That's what I said I'd show you in phase two, because it's not just the straight path. It's what I actually did, which is like a whole bunch of stuff, okay? Because I tried different ones. I explored possibilities. And the ones I liked better, I made variations of. And I made variations of the variations, right? And I may have even changed the, the prompt. Because remember, I added uh, in the style of Lisa Frank to add more color. And then another point here, see the age is different. So I was trying something else. Okay. But anyway, I added in the style of Lisa Frank. And then I added in wearing a heavy gold chain later also. And I also got into version 5.2 instead of version 5, right? So that's how I got to this one. I tried a few different things and was experimenting. That's what we'll do together. So... This is a very simple example because this is the only prompt I wrote. And I didn't try a lot. I tried a few little things. Um, I didn't do it for very long, I think, either, although you can check by the time. But that doesn't mean that I worked on it continuously through that period because I may have done other things. Um, although I think I, I, I'm not sure because, I, you know, it could be one day a little bit on it and then another day continuing on a bit with more variations. Okay. And then, then there was this one and so on. But getting to this, I already showed you that. So there were some more that I did, but then I used, I took this one and, uh, and used that as the example. But for me, it was still a work in progress because I was trying to make it look more like me. Well, it still has the image. My photo is still in there. So the, that one's still having an influence on it, right? It has a text prompt and a, and a uh, image prompt in there. Right. And because if you remove that, it's going to change when you do like, uh, yeah, if you pick one and you do a variation of it and you edit it and say you take that link out, now it doesn't have the image prompt anymore. We're leaving the text prompt the same. It's the in the style Lisa Frank and the wearing the heavy gold chain. It's it's that it's what I started with, plus those two modifications. But all I've done is remove the image prompt. So yeah, you can do that, and then it will give a different result, just like I was experimenting with in the previous video. Um, in the previous video, I was showing you uh, this example of uh, wide. I was talking about, I, I brought up the concept of wide versus deep. And then I was saying that on July 7th, I was going wide because I was making variations of many things and creating many possibilities with a few sketches that I started with and then some different prompts and different experiments, right? Very, a lot of variations of things. So that's back here. These are the upscales during that time in that July 7th, right? So coming off of the end of that, this one over here, um, what I did earlier today, so that's the video I just made before this one, what I was doing there was, um, making variations of them so it's still wide but it was in a more focused way so it's a transition from wide to deep and then you'll see that as you go up here there you go right and so then it's it's trying to make us it's almost trying to make a specific thing it's making this character in the jungle which which can then jump into a cenote okay in the future like later so yeah, so there, I showed you that. You can do a variation of something and remove the image link. Then, of course, later, we can add it back in or put a different one in. Uh, and I showed you today also putting multiple image links in, right? Um, so when I started, I just had one. But then I showed you, you can put in multiple. There's the link to the dragon Mexican mural. And then there's like the photo of me. So you can start from that, and we did that. We tried that today. But we may not have looked at the all the outputs because right now we're just looking through what I did that other day, which was uh, the 6th of July.
So that's what these are. And you'll see that's what I produced. And there's one of those. I like this one, so I wanted to take a look at it, right? That was one of those pan left things. So I upscaled that one, right? It's like a spirit animal. That's pretty cool. Um, and you can do more with it. Now, I don't know what it, oh, okay. When it says make square, see, it's like, it's going to go up and down. So it's going to expand. Maybe it will expand a bit above and a bit below, right? Uh, because it's already like this and we've panned left, but then we could also make it into a square. But I never tried that before. That's a new thing. You can keep panning, but it's like I've panned left. Now it shows here we can pan left and right It's if you want, or when you do it, it's going to add to it. But notice that it doesn't have up and down on it, but it's added the make square thing. So that's interesting. So if you keep going like this, you can make it panoramic. Right, you can keep uh, you can keep expanding it, but we made it square, or we tried that. Then from there, once you're a square again, then you can pan left, right, up or down if you want. So you can keep expanding. That's out painting. So it's going out beyond the thing and seeing and imagining what's out there, and giving you the different possibilities of it. So this is still July sixth, right? So you can see these are this these are the latest ones I generated on that day. Of course, you can look at them more closely. Okay, and yeah, we're in version 5.2, right? There are other ones, younger, no, no, it still says 38, it's just a variation of a different one, right? Uh, I'm not sure what's happening here. Okay, and that's it. Yeah, then the experiments of July 7th, a completely different thing, right? And now for something completely different. But just check out the July 7th video to see that. There. Okay, so that's it. I showed you how I made it, and I selected that one. And uh, here we can see new things that we've generated. So these are experiments, right? That was through what we were doing as I showed you. Um, yeah, remember I said, well, I was trying to combine it with a dragon. So we tried that today a bit, All right? So here, this was one of the things when we were blending the two images together, that's what it did. Each time you do it, it's a different result. I've got a picture of myself with like dragons that are made, like actually um, constructed at the, at, the, at the front of a temple. So that's kind of like this. I have actual photos like that. So you could use that, that other thing too. Um, and we and me and my friend, and then also when I took my dad there to India, then uh, and it was me and my dad. We were making these crazy faces like the dragons. But first, when I did that thing, it was with a friend that I met there in Bodh Gaya, India. So I can show you that other photo um, another time. Right? Yeah, this is funny. Right. Uh, yeah, so with Lisa Frank and Steve Henderson, this is what we're getting here. And then we got another one. Oh, yeah, I added pastel colors, right? Anthropomorphic dragon. So when it does produce one, instead of being two, but like instead of when it becomes one creature and you do a variation of that and you keep picking only the ones where it's actually one creature, then that's what you'll get. Right? So you remember that when we were experimenting with that, we tried that today, and you may, s I don't know, I was gonna say you may see that, I think maybe it's above, cause, cause we didn't, we weren't really seeing it here, because now we're getting into this out painting, and it's different. There, you can see there's different possibilities of what's over to the left, over to our left, right, looking at it. And so there, there's a lion in here, that's cool. And like, it's just like more jungle. There's a chain in here. See the chain went over there, but yeah, more jungle, more jungle, tie dye jungle, uh, spray painted jungle, something. Okay. See more panning left. Cause we tried it more times, right? I kept, I re-rolled it. So now you're seeing examples of that. And with, and then we said hazel color at ice. It's hard to see that. That's a really small detail, right? But yeah, we're getting the jungle and there's another creature in there like a lion i'm not sure what's happening here 
Um, yeah, that's when we made it into a square. So these are four examples of turning that thing into a square. Four ways to make that uh, that thing once we panned left into a square. And so when it when it hadn't been um, made into a square yet, it didn't have the stuff above and below, right? Because it was close to the top of his head. You can see that here. Maybe, right? Live demos. There you go. See. Okay, and then you can see, yeah, the top is slightly above his head. The bottom is like where the chain comes together there. So um, when we did make square, this is what we got. So there's four squares. In this one, it's got some black here, so it's not really even filled in. Um, and that one has white above it. But anyway, here's one, here's another, right? And you can upscale those or make variations of them, whatever you want. And it does say, I mean, there's a creature there, right? If we want to describe that, we can change it. Like say you do variations of one and that thing, like, I don't know what it is, but what if we change it to a hyena, right? What if we make it a dragon? So it's this guy here, right? Like this, uh, along with his pet dragon in the jungle. Okay. So you can do something like that. So you can always change things into other things. And this was where I panned the other way, panned right. because so we already panned left, then I panned right again. Then you can see these chains. And then it's like, um, you know, they call them the chain user in, uh, in Hunter Hunter when they're, when, uh, ah, yeah, I can't remember his name now, but when that, that, that one who were there, they were calling the chain user, um, when he is fighting the phantom troop. So here you got these chains over here. But anyway, that's just one possibility. See, these ones are like abstract. So yeah, I tried that to see what would happen. And so I was saying you can kind of go panoramic. Yeah, so this is cool. And then can you make those square? Well, it doesn't give you that option. Here we've gone left and we've gone right. Now it's this aspect ratio in total but it doesn't say make it a square from here. You can just upscale them. But then if you do do that, then the result of that should be, it should have some options. Of course, like make variations, subtle or strong. It may have other things. It should have like pan down again, maybe, or make square or something. Uh, we'll see that in the future. And there, this is where we said that I was also there along with my pet dragon in the jungle. But then it's not really a dragon. It's more of like a lion. That's like a female lion, maybe. That's a different one up there. Uh, that's like a male lion. All right. And so it's not a dragon, but it can change, right? It can morph because this is what the thing was, right? And we didn't describe it by exactly what it was. Maybe it is a dragon. I mean, maybe it is a lion, right? Um, what I did was I called it something else. So I said that it is a a dragon, <laughs> and this is what we get. And you, if if you don't like any of these designs, then you just just re-roll until it works, or change the prompt and do this and do that again. But if you like one of them, or any of them, then you could do more variations of it. So like if you want to see this change into a dragon here, see because the way it's laid out is going to impact it, of course. So maybe this one. Yeah, I mean, this is more focused on, on me here, right? Um, I guess we'll do this one then for a good layout. So if we just do that, we don't have to change the prompt again. We can leave it because remember, we've already changed it. We said that he's along with his pet dragon in the jungle. So when I do a variation of that one with the same prompt again, it's going to basically over time maybe change into a dragon. So I've showed you that too, but that's just bonus, right? So this thing will change over time as it goes through iterations of the same process, right? Generations. Now we don't mean, when I say that, I don't mean image generations. I mean, gen like this right here, I mean generations in the family tree, in the diagram. Okay, so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and there will be more to come. And we're going to make art based on um, a photo of yourself, just like I'm doing, you can make it into something that you want to make. 
in a certain style, like that you choose yourself. That's what we're doing together. And there are nine spots left as far as I know right now. Okay. And it's only $77, but it will go to 177 after the first 10. So there's nine spots left at 77 as far as I know. Um, email me, reply that you're interested, and you can lock in a spot. Okay, I'll see you soon.